Hi, I would like to show you a workaround which will bring back life to Samsung i9000 with broken internal storage chip. This can be diagnosed when flashing with Odin fails like presented here. So to reproduce error, start Odin, connect USB cable and reflash. For example, with XX JVP firmware. In this movie, flashing progress is a bit speeded up. Automatic reboot after flashing. And this is the error. Here you can see that MMC block cannot be formatted. First step is preparation of SD card which is needed to bring life to SGS. I am using Linux Ubuntu to create two partitions on SD card. This is listing of directories before and after connecting SD card to PC. Now I am starting FDisk and removing all partitions which are already on SD card. All partitions are removed now. Now I'm creating new partition. Both partitions have to be primary partitions. First one will be 6 GB and the second one will be rest of uh, SD card. I am using 8 GB uh, SD card so it will lead to 2 GB of data space. Please remember to write all changes before leaving FDisk. Second step is formatting first and second partition. The first one is VFAT and the second one will be RiserFS. I am using MKFS tools for both VFAT and RiserFS. Now we will have to put such formatted or preformatted card back to SGS. And after second attempt with flashing with Odin, we should be able to start SGS properly. So this is post flashing procedure. Automatic reboot. A bit speed it up. And our SGS is brought to life back. However, right now we don't have access to all memory. After checking memory, we can see that we have only data memory usable. This is 1.44 available space. So it's now high time to install root. I will root SGS through Odin. So, 3 button combo to start downloading mode. Now connect USB cable and flash routing package. Rebooting. SGS boots properly. Now we can check if we rooted the phone properly. We should also have clockwork mode installed with this routing package. Still no change with memory. And now let's check if clockwork mode was installed. Yes, it was. And both with clockwork mode, we also installed recovery mode. So let's reboot and start recovery mode. Second free button combo. 
Now I will try to install ICS on SGS. I have copied ICS 403 to the VFAT partition on SD card manually on PC and will install it through recovery mode. So now I select file which have to be flashed. And now I choose yes for installing ice cream sandwich. Installer will reboot the phone if needed and then install ICS. So now installation of ICS is in progress. It will take a while. Here you can see this installation goes properly. After everything is done, installer will reboot the phone. Installer will also wipe data from RazerFS partition on SD card. Now reboot. First you can see Google logo and ICS is starting. So ICS welcome screen. Let's jump it over. Now let's see how the memory will look like. So storage menu. Now you can see that total data space is 146 and USB storage is 597 gigabytes available. Almost everything is working right now, but camera and gallery. So this is screenshot of not working camera and let's check the gallery. And the error says no external storage available. So to work this problem around, let's start ADB and shell. First we will have to copy vault.fstab file from etc directory to SD card which is available on eMMC directory. Next we will have to modify the file with any text editor to swap eMMC and SD card mount points. Now I'm editing the contents of vault.fstab file. And the last step will be copying edited file back to phone. But first we will have to remount the system partition to read write. We can do this with mount command. After remounting we will do just simple copying from eMMC directory to system slash etc directory. Now let's check if file was properly modified. Yes, you can see difference between the first and the last version. Now we can safely reboot the phone and start camera. Flawless. Now it works perfectly. Now let's check the gallery. Yes, gallery is also working correctly. The first picture was taken with camera. Thanks for watching, I hope I helped you at least a bit.